Okay, we're back. We came up with a formula that generates this sequence of numbers. What should we say about this formula and this sequence? Well, obviously the sequence isn't very random looking. The numbers keep getting larger. That certainly isn't random. So what we're going to look at now is a way to improve it. We're going to introduce a concept called clock arithmetic. You're familiar with this already. If we look at a 12-hour clock, then 9 o'clock plus 4 hours, in other words, 4 hours after 9 o'clock, it's going to be 1 o'clock, not 13 o'clock, because there is no 13 on the clock. So the way we figure that out is we add 9 and 4 to get 13, and we take away 12 to give us 1. That's 1 o'clock. 11 o'clock plus 5 hours gives us 4 o'clock, not 16 o'clock. So we add 11 and 5 to get 16, but we take away 12 to give us 4. What about 11 o'clock plus 20 hours? Well, 11 plus 20 is 31, but if we take away 12 from that, we get 19. And there's no 19 on the clock, so we can take away 12 again, and now we get 7. So 11 plus 20 hours gives us 7 o'clock. Clock arithmetic is also known to mathematicians as modular arithmetic. And we are performing a modulo operation, or a mod operation. We can do it by, as, as we've seen in these examples, by repeatedly subtracting 12, which is our modulus in this case, until we get a number between 1 and 12, or 0 and 11, which is the same thing common way of doing modular arithmetic is to start counting at zero and go up to one minus the modulus. So we can also do this by what's known as long division. Now some of you may be familiar with this. It's pretty simple in case you aren't familiar with it. We use this notation. So let's do 31 divided by 12 in modular arithmetic. So that's like we divide 12 into 20, 31, it goes in there twice, that gives us 24. We subtract 24 from 31, that gives us 7. That is our remainder. That's 31 mod 12. If you want to learn more about modular arithmetic or do some exercises with it, here's a nice link that you can explore. But let's get back to our PRNG formula, and let's add in this idea of modular arithmetic. And in this case, we're going to use mod 13 instead of mod 12. So here we have a formula where x sub i plus 1 is going to be calculated by taking x sub i, multiplying it times 2, adding 1, and then taking the remainder mod 13. So if x sub i is 10, 10 times 2 is 20, plus 1 is 21, mod 13 gives us 8. And if we take 8 and plug that in as x sub i, then 8 times 2 is 16, plus 1 is 17, mod 13 gives us 4, the next number in our series. If we take 4 as our input, we get 9, and then 6, and then 0. You can do the arithmetic, and you'll see that this PRNG using this formula will generate this sequence of numbers. To make sure we understand how our new formula works, let's pause here and look at a couple of quick quiz questions. When we resume, we'll take a closer look at the sequence of numbers that this PRNG generates.